In this video, we're gonna try to figure out what is the critical value, z alpha over 2, associated to a certain confidence interval, and uh, for this case, we're gonna use the 95% of it. So, there are a couple of things that we need to uh, know before starting. Every time we are talking about the confidence interval here, we are, uh, we are using a two-tailed distribution which means we're gonna have a tail from the right side and another tail from the le left side. All right. So every time we do this, we're gonna have the alpha split into two. So this is gonna be half of the alpha, alpha over two, and this is gonna be the other half, alpha over two. So although we have uh, two critical values, so this is the z critical here on the left side and z critical on the right side they are always opposite to each other so this is going to be negative and this is going to be positive so there is only one value which is called z alpha over 2 and that will be the value on the right side z alpha over 2 so z alpha over 2 is always located on the right side and is always associated to the right tail of alpha over 2. Okay, so uh, now we what happened is we know the confidence interval but we don't know the alpha and our job is to figure out what is the alpha. So let me draw the confidence interval. So basically what is the 95% of here? So the 95% is going to be the yellow area, All right? So if this is the yellow area and that is represented by 0 0.95, which is two zeros here. So what will be the values of the alpha? And uh, this is really easy to determine. So let me call this C. All right, we know the total area is going to be 1. So that's going to bring me to uh, the alpha value will be equals to 1 minus the C value, which is the confidence interval. And if I'm using the 95% of, so the alpha here is going to be 1 minus 0, 95, 0, 0. And the alpha, it would be 0. 0, 0,500, all right? So now, once we determine the alpha, it's easy to determine alpha over 2, and this is going to be 0 0.0250. So in the end, we are looking for the value of Z 0 0.025, okay? So once we determine that value, we can use our table to determine this. So uh, the easiest way to do to use the table is to use the reflection. So if this area is going to be 0 0.025, this area on the left side it would be the same, 0 0.0250. So we can use this chart here so the value 0 0.0250 is going to be right here and if we read it it's going to be minus 1.9 and here it's going to be 6 so it's going to be minus 1.96 going back so the value we just found right now it is this one minus 1.9 Six. Therefore, by symmetry, the other value will be that what we are looking for again be one point ninety six, and that's how we find it, right? So again, our objective is always to determine the alpha over two first, all right? So let me give you the formula right now. Uh, how would the formula for alpha over two? Whenever you are using the confidence interval, it can be 1 minus C, the confidence interval, divided by 2. So, for this scenario, the alpha over 2 here 
is going to be equal to 1 minus 0 and 95 divided by 2. And this is going to be 0 0.0250. For the previous one, 98 percentile is going to be r over 2. It's going to be 1 minus 0 0.98 divided by 2. And this is going to be 0 0.01. And I can put a hundred. All right. So the alpha over two here again. It can be one minus zero nine nine divided by two, and this you can be zero point zero zero five zero. Okay. So once I determine the alpha over two, I can read it on the z table and then determine the value of the z. All right. I hope this is going to help. So now. Once you understand this process, I think is uh, more productive if you search into the internet for the keyword confidence interval z values. And here you're going to get all the value that you need. So, for instance, the one that we just did for 0 0.95 over here, we get 196. So that's the Z of uh, alpha over 2, which is Z of 0 0.025. All right. Okay. And that's all.